BBS. BBS. Black Burke Sugar, Bachelor's in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fisher Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do. Read BBS, BBS. Emmanuel Navarrete. Prove me wrong. Defending his uh, WBO 130 pound title unanimously against former two weight world champion Oscar Valdez. Navarrete's size, his strength, his awkwardness, they were major factors. But his punch rate, his activity is what won the fight more than anything else. It was an entertaining, memorable, but yet not an epic, legendary, all-time great clash of Mexican warriors. I liken uh, Navarrete Valdez one. I, I liken that to Ruiz, Andy Ruiz versus Chris Ariola, or Leo Santa Cruz versus Abner Morris in their uh, two fights that they had. Rewatchable fights, not not bad fights at all. You know. Entertaining fights, crowd pleasing fights in the moment, but not the type of fights we're going to be talking about five or ten years from now, like a uh, Marquez Vasquez, like uh, Barrera Morales. You know, it wasn't quite to that effect, but again, it was it was memorable. You know what I'm saying? And with that said, I can see a rematch between these two somewhere down the line, potentially, not immediately, but potentially. Uh, I underrated. I have to admit, I underrated Navarrete's defense. To me, he's patently, and I mean patently, hittable. Borderline Margarito-esque from what I've seen of him. But I got to give it to him. Last night, he timed Valdez's incoming shots extremely well. He, uh, he, would, see, he would see him coming and dip out the way and duck. And Valdez shot over the top of uh, a crouching... A crouching Navarrete most of the night. In other instances, Navarrete leaned back like Fat Joe from incoming shots. And basically, it all conspired to make Valdez miss way more shots than we're accustomed to seeing. Valdez is normally an accurate puncher. Uh, he was not last night. But back to that activity, man. The volume punching. Per round, Navarrete threw 86.5 punches. And he landed 18. The percentage was horrible. But he threw 86.5 punches per round. Conversely, Valdez threw 36.3 punches per round. And landed 11.7 per round. The connect difference wasn't much. But this dude literally threw, on average, 50 more punches per fucking round. Per round. Navarrete's uh, highest punch output was 128 punches in the 10th round. In the 10th round, he threw 128 punches, his highest of the fight. That's some stamina for your ass. Navarrete's lowest punch output was 64 punches in the second round. 64 is way more than a lot of fighters average, period. And this was the lowest of the whole fight for uh, Navarrete. Over, uh, he threw over 100 punches in two rounds. He threw 90 or more punches in three other rounds and then threw 80 or more punches in two additional rounds. Like, good God, all this, all this with a hurt right hand, mind you, with a hurt right right hand, tough, ballsy motherfucker. You got to give it to him. Now, the punch stats, they're not to be all to end all, but when a motherfucker throws 602 and two more punches, he's probably going to win that fight. I'm just saying, probably. Valdez, I'm a fan of Oscar Valdez. Uh, his face showed the wear and tear of the fight. I, I, I still say uh, it wasn't as bad as it looked. Valdez has fair skin. He marks up very easily. He's more of a Josh Taylor, or I'm going to go way back, a Sean O'Grady, who was a noted bleeder. 
Sean O'Grady, hell, he had scar tissue all along the side of both eyes to the point a good gust of wind could blow and Sean O'Grady would start bleeding. Now, Valdez and Josh Taylor, they aren't that bad, but it doesn't take much punishment at all. Lomachenko's another one. It doesn't take very much punishment at all to mark up the face of Lomachenko, of Josh Taylor, and uh, Oscar Valdez falls into that same category. So, he lost the fight clearly. His face looks like he got the shit beat out of him. It wasn't quite that severe. Again, I think he just swells up quicker than most from minimal punishment necessarily. But make no mistake, his face was fucked up. All the way up. Make no mistake about that. His approach was very curious to me, Valdez. For one, he's a smaller guy. Uh, he showed little to no lateral movement whatsoever. Basically, he stood in front of uh, Navarrete with the earmuffs on, high guard, leaning forward into slow, telegraphed-ass uppercuts and jabs like all, all night long. It was a very strange approach. And with that, if you're making the conscious effort to stand in front of this guy, you have to at least try to match his punch output. You can't stand in front of this guy with the earmuffs on and he throws 602 more punches than you. That's, that's just a bad recipe. And again, punch stats don't always tell the story, but it literally does in this fight. There was just no way you could score it for Valdez based on sheer output. It really is. Valdez, uh, he took the he took the loss hard, understandably. It's just his second loss. Uh, but he is, he's still a money fight. At 130, he's probably, other than Alvarete, the only money fight. So I can see him getting a WBA shot or a WBC shot. He'll still be in the mix once he takes some time away recover from the hurt of this loss uh navarrete we'll see if he stays at uh, 30 a little bit longer makes a couple more defenses but he did do an interview with a uh, fight hub and fight hype where he states he's not scared of shakur stevenson if, if he's offered to fight he'll consider it and he said he thinks he hurt valdez more than shakur did yeah he marked valdez's face up worse than shakur did i'll give him that but Shakur did drop Valdez, so I don't know who hurt who more. I'm sure they'll if, if the fight happens, they'll they'll both uh, all the networks and media will go to Valdez for a prediction if and when it does come down to that. But put me down now. As impressed as I was with Navarrete, you better not go nowhere near Shakur Stevenson, bro. He will 12 all your ass or stop you late because you are wide open. And the good defense you showed against uh, against uh, Valdez. That won't be the case with Shakur. And that leap in, left hook you throw, you'll get ate up. Shakur being a southpaw, he'll eat you up with his right hand. Right hooks, uppercuts all night long, bro. But uh, want to give you your flowers, Navarrete. Signature win, quality win, entertaining fight. Please watch the fight. If you haven't, you won't be disappointed. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.